episode one of Chainsaw Man was godlike. Now, as CG as it was, the shit looked beautiful. I think it has some of the best shot choices that MAPPA has put together today. Excellent shot choices. I read the manga a little bit, but I stopped reading it because I knew that the anime was coming in. On top of that, I did videos back in the day on this shit on one of my old channels, but the minute that channel got, you know, slaughtered by DMCA and copyright and all that shit, I deadass forgot all about Chainsaw Man. But I didn't forget about the characters, right? Like that was the one thing that stuck in my mind, right? Was like characters. I didn't remember this sequence at all. And honestly, I'm glad that I legitimately forgot all about this shit because seeing it in real time was super refreshing. Even looking into Denji's backstory a little bit, seeing how he got here, seeing how he ended up owing that old man all that fucking money, seeing how shitty that old man was, seeing the lifestyle that Denji had, motherfucker could only afford a loaf of bread a month. That shit was fucking crazy, even living in a shack. And then, you know, we know Denji, right? He's just... He's just horny. That's what he is. Bro wants to get some cheeks. That's his dying wish. And shout out to Pochita, man. Hearing his voice, the whole time I seen Pochita, I was like, what the fuck would this motherfucker sound like if it was to get animated? And we fucking saw it. Adorable as hell. It's exactly what I would have wanted Pochita to sound like. They really did their thing with the casting. Even with Makima. As stern as, you know, I think some people would have wanted Makima of the sound i like the soft heartedness in her voice because for those who know you know who makima is right you know what she really is so the devilish charm is there no pun intended i really think it fits the way they sequence this shit really fucking dope even in meeting the zombie devil like that whole shit the whole sequence and again if you guys watched my bleach video yesterday on the first episode i think it's genius to shoot cgi stuff in dark areas because you can legitimately mask the CGI with the dark so it don't look like shit. But MAPPA and their godlike animation team, the squad that they put together for this shit was fucking absolutely massive. The way that they blended the CGI and 2D hand-drawn animation was really fucking well done. I gotta give them they, I gotta give them they flowers, bro. Gotta give them they flowers. It looked good. Bro, did you see the action sequence? Did you see from the moment Pochita merged with Denji how serious shit got and then oh my god not to mention the fucking music there was some haunting themes playing throughout it for those of you who have been around my channel long enough y'all know i fucking love music bro music brings the best out of the animation a shit sequence can have an absolutely masterful soundtrack and it would take over for it and make it seem somewhat decent but with the masterpiece of a set and the way the sequence plays out you have some really really masterful music playing behind it it can really bring out what they were trying to show in that entire set loved it all now I i'm gonna be critical as we always have to be because you can't just like go through something and not find a flaw this is me being nitpicky i really wish i really wish that the op and the ed were switched song wise i really think chainsaw blood is a hell of a fucking song right i think that shit is worthy of the opening when it started playing at the end i'm like jesus christ this is really fucking good why was this not the opening the opening isn't bad right it's really poppy and it fits what they're trying to do but honestly if you hadn't made if you had made chainsaw blood the opening y'all could have really fucking snapped with that shit right you know this opening might fucking grow on me the more i think about it i'm gonna have to watch it more than once but bravo on episode one right fucking dope and i like where they ended i like the i liked ending on the what's for breakfast and she goes to explain like what was for breakfast and he's like that's awesome and you just like pan out shit was raw i'm such a like cinematic junkie when it comes to like things like that i love paying attention to the small details in all of it i like seeing that shit but i'm really looking forward to like what denji does right like i'm looking forward to how denji's story continues i'm looking forward to learning more about him i'm looking forward to learning about his dad because like how the fuck did he end up in this situation in the first place what did he what was he using 
using that money for that he was getting from the Yakuza? What the fuck was you doing? Honestly, like I said, I don't remember any of that shit. I'm glad that I got the memory of a fucking goldfish. Only for shit that like I end up dropping, right? But now that it's in anime form and I'm, you know, digesting all of this shit, I'm eating, I'm, I'm, I'm eating all this shit up for fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I actually care about it, I'm definitely gonna remember everything. And now that I have it in you know, video format, there's no way I'm gonna forget. There's no way I'm gonna forget because I can always go back <laughs> and watch my videos and remember the shit that I was talking about. That's how I always like spark the ideas. Cause as y'all know, I'm an anime content creator. I cover so much fucking shit and it's, it's not all in the same like boat. I cover a wide variety of things. So if you're new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, make sure you go down below, hit the link in the description. We do this almost every day. I'm trying to make sure this is every day because it's YouTube or nothing for me. So y'all already know what it is. No need to explain any further. If you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure y'all let me know. Make sure in the comment section, y'all tell me everything. I'm always open for dialogue. I'm always open for opinions, always open for, you know, comments, all that shit. I love talking with y'all down there because it's, it's always good to gauge what the audience sees and like what the audience thinks and seeing different views always makes shit dope because it helps broaden the horizons, right? Like it, it makes you expand your thought process and maybe pulls in more information than you would have thought you would have gotten in the first place. But all right, man, I'm out. I'm going to edit this video. I'm trying to get this out by 4 p.m. EST. And with that being said, it's your boy Damo Senpai and I will catch you guys in the next video.